Welcome to the final Friday Night Smackdown before Backlash this Sunday. And tonight, in your main event, the number one contender for the World Heavyweight Championship, the franchise John Cena, is set to go one-on-one -on -one with the Nigerian giant Omos. Omos is back in action for the first time since WrestleMania. Can Cena survive this giant? We are live tonight from the Wells Fargo Arena in Des Moines, Iowa. And the man who's got a meeting with Austin Theory this Sunday night in Minneapolis. The American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes, is set to kick us off here on Friday Night Smackdown. We want to thank you for joining us just 48 hours ahead of the Backlash pay-per-view this Sunday. The final Friday Night Smackdown before we get to the Target Center in Minneapolis promises to be an action-packed one as always. And what better way to kick things off than with the American Nightmare himself Cody Rhodes back in action yet again here on Friday Night SmackDown. Cody's set to go one-on-one -on -one with one of the United Kingdom's best, J.D. McDonough. This is gonna be a great wrestling matchup to kick us off in Iowa. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Atlanta, Georgia, weighing in at 220 pounds. The American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes! It was back at WrestleMania on February the 25th when Cody Rhodes made his return to WWE. Unfortunately, that return was spoiled by the man who challenged him on that night, All Day Austin Theory. It may have been a classic, but Cody Rhodes came up short, and he wants to right that wrong this Sunday night in the Target Center, Minneapolis, Minnesota, at Backlash. Where we'll be live at 5 p.m. Eastern Time, an epic live premiere for the first time this season right here on the No Nation Gaming YouTube channel. Cody Rhodes, we saw him in action a couple of weeks ago on SmackDown, a successful affair against Johnny Wrestling, Johnny Gargano. But can he get it done tonight against, as we mentioned, one of the United Kingdom's best? He is the Irish ace, J.D. McDonough. And his opponent from Bray County, Wicklow, Ireland, weighing in at 180 pounds, J.D. McDonough. Well, as we mentioned, J.D. McDonough's opponent tonight, Cody Rhodes, is set for a WrestleMania rematch this Sunday on pay-per-view against all day Austin Theory. These two men may have stolen WrestleMania weekend. They are set to try to do it again this Sunday night. Well, ladies and gentlemen, as you see on your screen, you're gonna wanna become a channel member right here, right now, because on the eve of Backlash, just 24 hours from now, tomorrow night, a special WWE live event from Springfield, Illinois, that'll be exclusive to our No Nation Gaming channel members. And already signed for that event tomorrow night is the United States Championship matchup between Imperium's Gunther, as he will defend against Wes Lee, a man who'll be in action later tonight here on SmackDown. And hit the join button down below so you do not miss out on that channel member exclusive event 24 hours from now and just 24 hours away from Backlash. But here we go, ladies and gentlemen. What a way to kick things off. Wells Fargo Arena is already hot. Des Moines, Iowa is ready for Friday Night Smackdown. And so am I, Cody Rhodes, J.D. McDonough to kick us off. This should be a great matchup, Cody Rhodes. Gotta wonder where his head's at. Is his mind already in Minnesota on this Sunday night? Is he already thinking about Austin Theory? And if so, JD's got a huge chance here to capitalize and score what is absolutely going to be possibly the biggest win of his career if he can get the job done. Of course, JD, formerly a part of Monday Night Raw, now a part of SmackDown, thanks to the draft over a month ago. JD really didn't have the best success on Monday Night Raw, but can he start his Friday Night SmackDown career on the right note? Taking the fight to the American Nightmare so far. Cody Rhodes, again, you gotta wonder if his mind is already in the Target Center this Sunday. Cody is very chomping at the bit, if you will, to get that win back that he lost to Austin Theory at WrestleMania. In Cody Rhodes' mind, he can't move on with his WWE career until he defeats Austin Theory. Theory was the better man on the greatest stage of them all, and Cody has not been able to live down that night. Wants to right that wrong this Sunday at Backlash. Right now, J.D. McDonough doesn't give a damn what's on the horizon for Cody Rhodes. He has taken the fight to the nightmare. And so far, so good. Rope break there. 
for Cody Rhodes, but J.D. McDonough all over Cody so far. It's going to be a great night of action here in Des Moines, Iowa. So to come tonight in your main event, the number one contender for the World Heavyweight Championship, the man who will meet Drew McIntyre this Sunday on pay-per-view, John Cena, set to go one-on-one -on -one with a man who is making his first appearance on SmackDown since the draft last month and his first time inside the squared circle since losing to Brock Lesnar at WrestleMania. That is the Nigerian giant Omos. Cena versus Omos, no strangers to each other. They fought over a year ago, almost a year ago. Right here on WWE television on main event. Cena scored the win on that night. They will have their rubber match, or I should say their rematch later tonight here on SmackDown. Right now, Cody Rhodes taking JD to the outside. Nice drop kick there, big time forward for McDonough. Cody Rhodes got to like his work. He's got to keep this momentum going, though. Got to stay the course, get this win over JD, and then you can focus on Austin Theory this Sunday on pay-per-view. And Cody Rhodes to the outside with the suicide dive. Didn't get all of it there, but got enough to take JD off his feet. Cody Rhodes is feeling it. Des Moines, Iowa is behind the American nightmare, but he's got to stay on the offense here. The Irish ace, Jordan Devlin. Originally a part of NXT UK, then NXT, now part, well, originally of Monday Night Raw, now again on Friday Night SmackDown, but JD McDonough is a dangerous competitor. Just because he hasn't had the best luck on the main roster so far doesn't mean he can't turn it around any given match. But he's got to give this his all, and he's got to stay focused. That is for sure. JD down right now. Cody Rhodes breaking the count, and now going back to the outside after the Irish ace. It was on spaghetti legs, at least for the moment. And as this matchup progresses, ladies and gentlemen, once again, we'll be live. The first live premiere of the season, WWE Backlash. It is this Sunday, 48 hours from now, 5 p.m. Eastern time. Seven huge matches signed. We're going to run them all down later tonight. And, of course, just 24 hours from tonight, the channel member exclusive WWE live event in Springfield, Illinois. Gunther versus Wes Lee for the United States Championship. And much more to come on that event. It's going to be an epic weekend right here on the No Nation Gaming YouTube channel. Meanwhile, J.D. McDonough might have just knocked Cody Rhodes' lights out for good. Oh, wait a minute. Don't count out the American Nightmare, though. That was a nice spin kick by McDonough, but Cody Rhodes dropping him with a simple yet effective neck breaker to turn the tides in this matchup. And there's a suplex by Cody. Cody's an old soul inside of that ring. You're going to see maneuvers like that, the basics that are simple yet effective in the repertoire of Cody Rhodes. Now Cody, backing on the offense, man. He's got J.D. McDonough in the corner. I'm sure Austin Theory has got his eyes locked on Cody Rhodes. Remember, Austin Theory accepted the challenge of Cody after he lost the number one contenders match to John Cena a few weeks ago. In Theory's mind, he knows he already beat Cody Rhodes, and another matchup against Cody Rhodes is a way for Theory to possibly get back in the winning ways and possibly elevate himself to a future world championship matchup. That's the only reason Theory took the rematch against Cody Rhodes, but for Cody, it's about running that wrong from WrestleMania. We will ultimately see who the better man is this Sunday night in Minneapolis. JD trying to mount some offense there, but there's Cody Rhodes. Vintage maneuver there from the Rhodes family. Cody's feeling it right now. Oh, wait a minute. Goes underneath. He hit this on Gargano to beat him a few weeks ago. The vertebraker on JD McDonough into the cover. Again, that was maneuver defeated Johnny Gargano a few weeks ago, but JD McDonough able to hold on at least for another moment in this contest. A little way to kick things off tonight on Friday Night SmackDown. JD rolling to the outside of the ring, using his ring awareness there, the smarts to get away from Cody Rhodes when he knows he's down and hurt. Look at Cody, trying to beat JD McDonough to the punch. JD's trying to get back into this, but Cody Rhodes is laser focused tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Cody Rhodes does not want to stray from the path. He does not want a loss heading in to that big time WrestleMania rematch on Sunday. Disaster kick, now Cody's heading to the top rope. Cody, we're gonna strut his stuff here tonight. Moon Salt, but did he get too fancy as J.D. McDonough gets out of the way and fouls it over the knee, and there's a knee by Cody Rhodes. And there's a counter, there's a counter. Tip for tap we go, and Cody's able to drop him with the clothesline here. 
Cody Rhodes is fired up. The adrenaline is truly running through his body right now. And is Cody Rhodes nearing victory tonight on SmackDown? That was a brain buster there on JD. Dunn has got to get back into this matchup if he's got a chance at survival. Does not want to start off his SmackDown career on the wrong foot. And there's the moonsault that time. A little bit of springboard action in the step of the American Nightmare. And Cody has not gone for a cover since that vertebraker. He's looking to do the damage on J.D. McDonough before he goes for the one, two, three. Wait a minute. Crossroads. And back into the cover. And I got a, just a feeling that that's going to do it. A hard-fought victory tonight for the American Nightmare. And Cody Rhodes, another W in the win column, full steam ahead towards the Target Center in Minneapolis this Sunday for that WrestleMania rematch against Austin Theory. Here is your winner. Des Moines, Iowa on their feet for the prodigal son. But will Cody Rose right that WrestleMania wrong? This Sunday at Backlash, 5 p.m. Eastern time, it's Cody Rhodes versus Austin Theory round two. Target center, Minneapolis, get ready. Well, just 24 hours before we get to Backlash, it is a WWE live event in Springfield, Illinois that'll be only available for channel members. Hit the join button down below to receive this exclusive content. It kicks off tomorrow night and in the main event of WWE Live in Springfield, an epic United States Championship matchup. Gunther defends the gold for the first time since winning it at WrestleMania as he goes one-on-one -on -one with one of the Cruiserweight best on SmackDown, Wesley. And also signed for WWE Live, a major grudge match for Monday Night Raw. Representing the Judgment Day, it is Finn Balor. And representing the Street Profits, it is Montez Ford. This is going to be a hell of an athletic contest between Balor and Ford tomorrow night. And also signed for Friday Night SmackDown. For the first time since he was put on the shelf by Santos Escobar, Dominic Mysterio is back and he's looking for a measure of revenge against Legado Del Fantasma's Joaquin Wilde. Three huge matchups and more coming your way tomorrow night at WWE Live in Springfield, Illinois, only available for channel members. Hit the join button down below so you don't miss out on that exclusive content. One WWE Live event per month for channel members. We are back here on Friday Night SmackDown, and we are set for a little women's tag team action, making their SmackDown debuts tonight from NXT. It is Zoe Stark and Nikita Lyons as they are taking on the team of Io Sky and Dakota Kai. Dakota Kai formerly, or I should say usually, teams with Bailey. Those two women known as Damage Control. Bailey not in the building tonight. Io Sky taking her place. This is a huge opportunity for Io to get back in some momentum on her side. You've seen Io try to contest for number one contenderships for the Women's Championship in the past. A lot of things haven't really gone her way. She was in the finals of the Women's Tag Team Championship Tournament, dating back to Survivor Series. She was alongside Zia Lee. That did not go Io's way either. Tonight she is alongside Dakota Kai and able to gain some momentum tonight. Of course, the Women's Tag Team Champions, Bianca Belair and Shotzi, are a part of Friday Night SmackDown. They defeated Caden Carter and Katana Chance a couple of weeks ago. Even though the women's division now split in WWE, all women from both brands available to challenge for any title, whether that be the women's tag team titles or the women's championship on Raw currently held by Asuka. You got to get those wins and definitely avoid those losses inside the squared circle. You want to gain that top contention for championship gold. And this could easily be a matchup that determines who is next in line to challenge Bianca Blair and Shotzi for the women's tag team titles that they won back at WrestleMania against Candice LeRae and Indy Hartwell. Io Sky and Dakota Kai working as a good unit so far. Meanwhile, Nikita Lyons on the apron getting assaulted by Io Sky. Zoe Stark trying to fight for her survival on the outside against Dakota Kai. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, man. Half, half Nelson suplex on the outside of the ring by Zoe Stark. What a maneuver there by the debuting woman. Should be a highly competitive tag team matchup, and it's already been since the opening bell. 
These four women hungry for opportunity tonight. Pia just squashing Zoe Stark in the corner. Ripping her off. What an uppercut. More of a palm strike there. If anything, by Io. And now a tag made to Dakota Kai. Dare I say one of the hardest hitters in the women's division. She's got kicks that'll knock your lights out for days on end. Again, Dakota usually teams up with Bailey. Those two women make up damage control. Bailey not able to be here tonight. Io Sky filling that role. Meanwhile, Dakota Kai may have just secured the victory for that team, and Zoe gets the shoulder up. And Zoe scrawling, trying to crawl to her corner, I should say. Needs that tag in the Keen Alliance. Those two women had challenged for NXT Women's Tag Team Championships in the past. Zoe Stark has challenged for the NXT Women's Championship in the past. Two incredibly talented young women. They have bright futures here in the WWE. They're looking to kick off their main roster run here on SmackDown with a win tonight against Dakota Kai and Io Sky, two established women here in WWE. I'm sure Bianca Belair and Shotzi, again, your women's tag team champions, got their eyes locked on this tag team matchup. As they see what we see, and two possible teams that could be lined up for future opportunities. Holy hell! I don't even know what to call that. A reverse TKO, and it does it. Zoe Stark knocking Dakota Kai's lights out. Look at that inverted. I don't even know what to call that. Almost a GTS at the end there. Go to sleep, and that is exactly what Dakota Kai's doing right now. Zoe Stark. Well, hell, Nikita Alliance certainly had an easy debut, but Zoe Stark, impressive inside of that ring tonight. Look out for these two women as future challengers for the tag team gold. Well, the action continues tonight on Friday Night SmackDown with Wes Lee taking on Mansoor, looking to build some momentum towards his U.S. title match in 24 hours, plus... Indy Hartwell in singles action as she goes one-on-one -on -one with Shayna Baszler. The results of those contests see Wesley picking up a huge win over Mansoor as he heads towards his United States Championship match with Gunther in just 24 hours at WWE Live. Plus, the Queen of Spades, Shayna Baszler, picks up a big-time singles victory over Indy Hartwell. Could Shayna be next in line for a women's championship opportunity? Only the future will tell. Well, we are back live at the Wells Fargo Arena, Des Moines, Iowa, for the final Friday Night SmackDown for WWE Backlash. And we want to remind you that just 24 hours from now, it is the WWE Live in Springfield, Illinois. And you'll only be able to see that event if you become a channel member. So hit the join button down below so you don't miss out on a stacked night of action featuring Guther versus the man who just picked up a big win over Mansoor, Wesley, for the United States Championship. One half of Los Lotharios, that being Angel Garza in action tonight as he goes one-on-one -on -one with one half of the world tag team champions, Mustafa Ali. These two men got the Viking Raiders in 48 hours. Mustafa Ali looking to pick up a win tonight and build some much needed momentum for the reigning and soon to be defending tag team champions of the world. And his opponent, accompanied by Ricochet from Chicago, Illinois, weighing in at 182 pounds. One half of the world tag team champions, Mustafa Ali. This Sunday night at Backlash, Ali and Ricochet look to defend their WWE tag team championships against the new number one contenders, Eric. Ivar, the Viking Raiders. It was one year ago at this time that the Viking Raiders were atop the tag team division as their champions. One year later, they walk into the Backlash pay-per-view yet again, looking to secure that very same tag team championship gold. As for tonight here on SmackDown, Mustafa Ali set to go one-on-one -on -one with Angel Garza of Los Lotharios. And as we mentioned, Ali looking for some much needed momentum for the World Tag Team Champions. Remember, it was last week here on SmackDown, Ricochet went one-on-one -on -one with Ivar, the Viking Raiders. Ivar picked up a dominating victory over Ricochet, earning them the Tag Team Championship match in 48 hours on pay-per-view. So Ali has got Angel Garza tonight. The Viking Raiders, from what we understand, already in Minneapolis, getting ready for the Backlash pay-per-view. Ali and Ricochet, one last stop here in Des Moines, Iowa, before they get to their Tag Team title defense. 
And as for Angel Garza and Humberto Carrillo, better known as Los Lotharios, it's been a while since they've gotten a W inside of the ring. A much needed tag team victory in the near future, but Angel Garza looking for some singles momentum tonight. And trying to bring that momentum back to the Los Lotharios locker room. This could be a much needed win. It could be a huge win for Angel Garza that could easily put Los Lotharios in line for a future World Tag Team title opportunity regardless of who leaves Backlash as the champions. As Garza, nice neck breaker, just a chin breaker there on Ali. Remember on Ali and Ricochet really dominated WrestleMania weekend. It was WrestleMania Saturday where they won the 2023 Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic. They moved on to WrestleMania Sunday just 24 hours later to become the World Tag Team Champions, defeating Johnny Gargano and Tommaso Ciampa. And already it has not been an easy road for the champions since then. Again, Ricochet really was just dominated by Ivar last week in that one-on-one -on -one affair. And now they have that intimidating force of the Viking Raiders awaiting them in Minneapolis. Mustafa Ali tonight, he's gotta stay focused though because Angel Garza right now, big time backstabber, looking to pick Ali in half tonight. And hopefully, wait a minute, almost had Ali there. But I'm sure Angel Garza is hoping that Mustafa Ali's headspace is already focusing on the Viking Raiders and Sunday night. Ali on the outside here is trying to catch a breather. And, oh, wait a minute, look out for Angel Garza over the top rope and takes down Ali. Los Lotharios is motivated and is in much need of a victory tonight. And Angel Garza is looking to do that for the duo. Ricochet is just pacing here at ringside. I bet he feels just as antsy as we suspect him. After his loss last week, he wants Ali getting his hand raised tonight. Those two men need a confidence boost heading into their tag team title match on Sunday. And Ali trying to get back into this thing. Got to reach down deep. Got to brawl if needed. Got to go high risk if needed. Well, he's got a lot of strong suits inside of that ring, but him and Ricochet's tag team cruiserweight offense with maneuvers like that has always been what they have benefited most off of. Nice springboard cross body to the outside. Angel back into the ring. And Ali going for the drop kick there. Didn't get all of it. Now Gar's off the forearm. He's got Ali rocked. Ali able to block there. And counter for counter right now. Angel Garza. You want to talk about motivated, you want to talk about hungry, look no further than this generational superstar. There's the cover on Ali, gets the two, and Mustafa with the shoulder up. Humberto at ringside, you remember it was just a few months ago, he went one-on-one -on -one with Rey Mysterio for the Cruiserweight Championship. He came up short on that night. And again, as we mentioned, Angel Garza picks up the victory here. I don't care who walks out of Backlash as the champions. Could be Ali and Ricochet, could be the Viking Raiders. You got to believe if Angel picks up the win, Los Lotharios are going to be awaiting the winners. Meanwhile, back and forth, Ali and Garza go. Nice suplex there, simple yet effective by Mustafa Ali, who drops the elbow as well. And now this time, it's Angel on retreat, trying to catch a breather on the outside. And Ali's right there to catch him. Drops him with the DDT. Mustafa Ali starting to build momentum in this singles affair tonight. In Des Moines, Iowa, goes for the senton. And there's nobody home off that. Oh, wait a minute, double underhook. Oh, man! Bit of a butt buster there. I'm sure he felt that in the spine as well. That may do it. No! Close call there. Mustafa Ali able to get the shoulder off the canvas, but Angel almost had him. Close call by Garza. Oh, look at this. Look at this cruiserweight offense. Angel, it may have been a while since we've seen either member of Los Lotharios get their hand raised. They are certainly two talented individuals inside of that ring as we got a moonsault there, and Ali once again has got no choice but to get out of dodge. Oh no, and Garza, I think, wants to take things to the sky for the second time. Make it a repeat, call it a dose. Angel Garza hits the sky and comes down crashing. And that time, nobody home. And Ali, he needs to get back into this match, and he needs to get back into it now. Ricochet, he's got to be sweating at ringside right now. Angel has thrown some of his best offense at one half of the World Tag Team Champions, and so far Ali has had no answer other than survival. And, oh, wait a minute here. Oh, come on now, Ali, you got to keep your eye on the ball. Humberto Carrillo, a distraction, may have just handed the victory to Angel here, but Ali gets the shoulder up. 
You see Ali was starting to build momentum. Humberto took his eye off the ball. Angel tried to capitalize. Luckily, for Mustafa Ali's sake, he was able to survive. But, oh, oh come on here. Referee, his, his feet are on the damn ropes. Mustafa Ali kicking out, but my goodness, is Angel Garza throwing everything in the kitchen sink in this matchup. Oh, sunset flip. A lot to action to call here. Will that do it? No. Garza tried to lie G and steal his way to victory. A la Eddie Guerrero. Mustafa Ali went for the sunset flip. Nobody home. Meanwhile, Garza's trying to get back into this thing. Goes under. Kip up. In Sagari. What a matchup. Regardless of if you like these two competitors, if you respect Angel and his actions inside of that ring, these two men are tearing down the house tonight in Des Moines, Iowa. And Angel, or I should say Mustafa Ali, Gotta wonder what his condition's gonna be coming out of this matchup. Hell, you gotta wonder what Ricochet's condition's gonna be after his match with Ivar last week. Well, come on now. Humberto's gotta get out the damn apron. Referee! At some point, you gotta cause... So you, gotta, you gotta ask for some situation. You gotta try to chill things out here. Whatever we're trying to get out is Angel Garza makes it a trace in this contest. Up and over the top rope again. Humberto is on the apron. Angel took advantage. Now he's back on the offense at ringside. Angel is going to the well with what works in this matchup. So Pekin Heroes, not once, not twice, but three times. And Ali has had no answer, as we mentioned again. Now Ali, with a gut to the steel steps. Oh no, and now Mustafa Ali. He knows what he needs to do. He needs to go high risk and hope for high reward. Cross body to the outside. Man, what a matchup between Ali and Angel Garza tonight. Angel's hungry for opportunity. Mustafa Ali is motivated for momentum. Both of these guys got something to gain here tonight. And I don't think this is going to be over until one man is just simply not able to get back to their own two feet. Two incredible cruiserweight athletes battling it out here in the final Friday Night Smackdown before Backlash. Oh, wait a minute. Angel Garza turning Ali inside out. And that may be a broken nose for one half of the world tag team champions. You may not like some of the actions of Los Lotharios in this matchup, but it's certainly paying them dividends as Ali sends Angel to the outside. Oh, yes, this is smart for Mustafa Ali. Wait, never mind. Over the top rope. And Ali taking a page out of Angel's book. It looked like for a moment, Mustafa Ali was going to rest and recuperate in the ring. I was going to call that smart. Take a breather and take a breath. But he decided, pedal to the metal, go over, go out, and take out Angel. And now both competitors finally back into the ring. There's a neck breaker by one half of the world tag team champions. As this matchup continues on Friday Night SmackDown. This is what SmackDown's all about. This kind of high offense, high action, adrenaline pump and movement inside of that ring. And Ali heading to the top rope here, dropping the leg on the back of the neck of Angel. And now going back to the top rope. Ali is fired up. 0-5-4, nobody home. Mustafa Ali was looking for the final blow, but Angel got out of the way. And now Ali finds himself fighting from underneath again as he drops Angel with the neck breaker. And back to the top goes Ali. It didn't work out last time. Will it this time? There's the splash into the cover. And that's a rope break there. Angel Garza saved by his ring spot there. You see Ali. He has taken this moment. I think he was talking it over with Ricochet there. I'm sure he's asked himself what the hell he's got to do to put Angel away in this matchup. Ali is just pacing back and forth. And this is where we were mentioning a few minutes ago. Smart to take the rest. Take the breather. This has been pedal to the metal since the opening bell. Ali, nice whip off. There's a neck breaker. Oh, come on. This is the third time in this damn match. Alberto Carrillo taking Ali's eye off the ball. And Angel Garza is gonna take advantage! Come on now! Oh, come on, not like this, not off the distraction. Angel just stole the victory over Ali. And that is not gonna go well for the momentum of the World Tag Team Champions 
heading into Backlash this Sunday. But it's certainly going to put Los Lotharios in a top contender's position. Well, I cannot wait to see what the World Tag Team Championship matchup and how it's going to play out on Sunday night. But that's a huge win regardless of the process for Angel Garza tonight on SmackDown. Do you want access to a bonus Universe Mode episode every single month? Well, now you have the chance. Click the Join button down below and become a NOAA Nation Gaming channel member. Not only will you receive one bonus Universe Mode episode every single month, but you'll receive access to exclusive badges, emojis, discounted merchandise, and more. Become a Premium Pass channel member today and don't miss out on these exclusive perks. It is the first live premiere of the season, Minneapolis, Minnesota, this Sunday night, 5 p.m. Eastern time for the WWE Backlash Pay-Per-View. Seven huge matches signed featuring this big time intercontinental title match from Raw, the King of Strong Style outlasted seven other men in a number one contenders tournament. Nakamura goes one-on-one -on -one with the champion Ilya Dragunov this Sunday. Also from Monday Night Raw, five women elimination match for the WWE Women's title. Becky Lynch, Alexa Bliss, Natalia, Liv Morgan, and the champion Asuka. Who's going to be the last women standing with the gold inside of that ring? It's the WrestleMania rematch. The American Nightmare Cody Rhodes cannot move on until he writes the wrong of the grandest stage of them all. Austin Theory wants to go two for two. It's Theory versus Rhodes this Sunday. How will Mustafa Ali and Ricochet bounce back after these recent singles losses? Do the Viking Raiders are going to be chopped for pickings? The World Tag Team titles are on the line. What a matchup it's going to be. The five-man elimination match from Raw. Number one contendership for the WWE title is on the line. Bobby Lashley, Kevin Owens, Sheamus, Karrion Cross, and it's a homecoming for the Beast Incarnate, Brock Lesnar. In the Monday Night Raw main event, it is hell in a cell. Loser leaves Raw. The WWE Championship is on the line. Uh, over a year in the making, Matt Riddle and Randy Orton write their final story on pay-per-view. And in the SmackDown main event, the World Heavyweight Championship is on the line. The chosen one, Drew McIntyre, realized his destiny at WrestleMania. But the franchise, John Cena, is looking for number 17. It's McIntyre versus Cena for the World Heavyweight title. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it is main event time from Des Moines, Iowa, 48 hours before Backlash. The following is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring from West Newberry, Massachusetts, weighing in at 251 pounds, John Cena! The most interesting variable about the SmackDown main event on Sunday is that John Cena owns a recent victory over Drew McIntyre. You rewind the clocks back to December. Cena and McIntyre went one-on-one -on -one right here on SmackDown for the number one contendership for the World Heavyweight Championship. On that night, John Cena defeated Drew McIntyre with an attitude adjustment off the top rope, and Cena made his way to the Royal Rumble to challenge then-champion Seth Rollins. Of course, Rollins retained on that night, and Drew McIntyre was the one to dethrone the visionary of WWE, Seth freaking Rollins, on WrestleMania Saturday. But is John Cena the favorite going into the world title match on Sunday night with that victory over McIntyre? Does John Cena have the betting odds in his favor when the world championship is on the line and he's on the hunt for number 17 in his career? Cannot wait to get to the target center this Sunday night. Cena versus McIntyre in a matchup that I'm sure promises to tear down the house in Minneapolis. But Cena's got his hands full for the first time since WrestleMania. The Nigerian giant Omos is back in action and he is seeking new prey here on the blue brand. And his opponent from Lagos, Nigeria, weighing in at 400 pounds, the Nigerian giant. 
You know, we've been talking about being motivated and being hungry for a lot of our talent here tonight inside of that squared circle. Omos fits that to a T. He went one-on-one -on -one with the Beast Incarnate Brock Lesnar at WrestleMania. He failed to defeat Brock Lesnar at WrestleMania. That was the last time Omos stepped foot inside the squared circle. Since then, he was drafted to Friday Night SmackDown for Monday Night Raw, and now Omos returns to the blue brand ring, and he's looking to feast on the number one contender for the world title. Again, these two men went one-on-one -on -one under a year ago on WWE Main Event. John Cena defeated Omos on that night in their first time ever collision. I am sure that is in the back of the mind of both men. And all these months later, I'm sure Omos would love to not only get back in the winning ways after his loss against Brock Lesnar at WrestleMania, but would love to finally, in this rematch against John Cena, defeat him once and for all. Especially with Cena's match against Drew McIntyre ahead this Sunday. Almost a similar situation to what we just saw between Angel and Mustafa Ali. If Omos can win this matchup, you gotta believe that puts him in line for a future world title opportunity sometime after Backlash. Nonetheless, right now, Omos and Cena in the midst of action here in Des Moines, Iowa. Wells Fargo Arena has been rocking all night long for the final SmackDown before Backlash. As Omos looks to defeat Cena there, but Cena, it'd be hard to keep him down no matter who you are. Remember Cena was back in action on SmackDown a couple of weeks ago, defeated Austin Theory in a reunited rivalry in the main event to earn his number one contendership against McIntyre. I was also back on WrestleMania Sunday that John Cena defeated the glorious Robert Roode in one-on-one -on -one action. Cena's certainly a deserving challenger for McIntyre. The two all-stars of SmackDown going to collide over the big gold belt on pay-per-view. Cena taking the fight to Omos right now, but my goodness, look at the strength of Omos to just throw Cena halfway across the ring. Omos is an angry individual tonight. He wants to defeat John Cena. He wants to make a statement to the SmackDown locker room that he is here, he is back, and he's ready to feast on everybody he is in the ring with. And again, we already mentioned it, but I'll reiterate, if Omos can defeat John Cena tonight, then Omos, I'm sure, is going to be a line in wait for whoever leaves Backlash as the world champion, whether that be John Cena, whether that be Drew McIntyre. Imagine getting through what I'm sure is going to be a physical matchup on Sunday and then having somebody with the likes of the Nigerian giant Omos waiting for you for the world championship. That is all potential. There's a big story that could come out of this main event, but we will see what happens as this match progresses. And now Cena's just trying to get back into this. He's got to stay focused on Omos. Cena's been in this position before. We've mentioned a few times tonight, but I'm sure John Cena is not an individual who is already focusing on McIntyre. I know John Cena's got to be 100% focused on the Nigerian giant Omos tonight. Into the cover, off the elbow from the top, and Omos gets the shoulder up. I want to thank you for joining us so far tonight on Friday Night SmackDown, but a great night of action here. 48 hours from Backlash and 24 hours before our channel member exclusive WWE live event in Springfield, Illinois. Still time to become a channel member and catch that event live. 5 p.m. Eastern time it will air. Hit the join button down below and see what is going to be a great live event. One bonus live event coming your way throughout this season every single month for channel members only. Meanwhile, Omos working over John Cena here, just stepping over the rib cage. Meanwhile, Omos into the cover. Will that do it? Cena pops the shoulder. You gotta wonder, man. Omos is gonna bring the fight to Cena. And whether Cena wins, loses, or this is a draw, no matter the result, Cena's gonna be feeling the effects of this match against Omos in just 48 hours. This is not the type of matchup, and certainly not the type of opponent you wanna step in the ring with. Just 48 hours before to the biggest matches of your career when the World Championship is on the line. Amos rolling to the outside, trying to catch a breather. This is smart by Cena here, just to take a breath. And let Omos get back into the ring. He doesn't want to overexert himself, possibly doesn't want to risk injury also ahead of the match with Drew McIntyre. McIntyre is a Scottish warrior. He's a pissed off son of a bitch for a reason every time he gets inside of that ring. McIntyre will eat you alive if you do not come in 110%, especially when the gold he worked so hard for to obtain is on the line. 
Meanwhile, Cena, a little you can't see me, a little five knuckle shuffle on Omos. And that may do it. Cena gonna pick up his second victory over Omos in his career, but Omos gets the shoulder up. Cena in disbelief, he thought he had the big man there. Got him off his feet, hit the five knuckle shuffle, but Omos, as tough as they come, pops the shoulder up, and the main event continues. He may be able to find John Cena's head in the fifth row after that clothesline. And Omos is not done inflicting punishment on his opponent. Just an overhand throw. This probably hurts like a ton of bricks. Cena just trying to avoid that onslaught there. He's got Omos in the corner. Oh man, look at the muscle by Cena. What the hell does Cena got in mind right now? What is, oh my goodness, no way, no shot. John Cena with Omos on his shoulders. Holy attitude adjustment. Into the cover. That may be the biggest AA we damn near ever seen. The Nigerian giant just went for a ride courtesy of the franchise player, courtesy of the number one contender for the World Heavyweight Championship, John Cena. I cannot believe what we just saw. Here is your winner, John Cena. Well, if that doesn't fire you up, I don't know what will. And John Cena is certainly fired up, and he is laser focused. It is the SmackDown main event of WWE Backlash this Sunday night, 5 p.m. Eastern time. The World Heavyweight title is on the line. John Cena, Drew McIntyre, will Cena achieve number 17, or will the chosen one's destiny continue forward? We'll see you this Sunday. Face on when I chase like that, yeah, I play so strong with a knife in the back. I'm a swing home run like a baseball bat. Gonna see me rise, you can hate on that. I don't play both sides, doing me no cap. I'm a rock.